welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Olympus sky welcome back to the channel uh, this is a video I want to do uh, earlier but you know circumstances we are all human and uh, you name it um, so okay so let's get into this so uh, before we get into this this will be about the VLT observatory uh, image as you can see I made a video here about um, how they messed up basically go check it out still don't know I uh, understand why you would do that but okay um, let's not get into that if you want to go check out the video um, so this will be a short one there will be another extended video as you can see I've uh, been uh, pretty busy with this one and you know if it's it's of if I see images of this this kind of quality I'm I'm extremely excited you know I'll, I'll definitely take another look at it and I focused in this image on the on the darker areas because I really want to make a point but again I want to keep this as short as possible and uh, again and always w wish to thank you thank you so much for everyone for commenting and everything uh, and for sharing I really do appreciate it uh, if you still if you're looking at this video uh, another one from my channel and you still haven't subscribed why not subscribe do it uh, leave a like if you can always appreciate it um, so okay let's let's get into this because there's there's three anomalies I really want to talk about um, right now and it's it's quite fascinating and I'm still looking at still am um, I think it's about two weeks now uh, looking at this image the official link is in the description by the way never forget uh, so this this little small one here and let's check this out um, it's a bit confusing I know but uh, you see here it's locked oh, what I always do is copy the lock layer instead of uh, unlocking it uh, just to be sure or oh, I'm just you know addicted to making backups so okay we got that uh, let me make why not use this layer again uh, let me draw it out for you hope having set yes of course try to do try to do this video earlier this week but uh, something came in between anyways uh, none of your concern when we look at this, this is quite interesting because it looks like some kind of hole like going down inside the moon which is i have never seen this before in images um i will check out some other images of this particular location and see what it will turn out but um this is actually the first time that i've seen an observatory like um, give us this amazing image uh, it has been heavily edited uh, we talked about that in previous video uh, like I told you, uh, go check that one out. It has been heavily edited for sure, and it doesn't make sense at all. Uh, but again, there's so much cool stuff in here, so much detail. You have to check it out. I mean, you know, when I see these kinds of images with with this kind of quality, I, I get really happy. You know, it it really does make me happy. Um, actually, I could show you in a moment what what I mean by quality. I have it somewhere set up. No, I don't. Okay, but anyways, um, here's I hosted it just a bit. And as you can see, you can literally like see those uh, see those lines like um, uh, what did I do again? I uh, got this one. Got to move to the other layer. I know this, this is quite a busy project. I still need to uh, do some management here going on. Um, you can see like it's going on, and I'll zoom in just a bit for you uh, guys on the uh, mobile phones and you name it. Uh, you know, it's not a perfect view, but you can see we got some just a tiny little bit of detail. Like I said, I focused on the uh on the darker parts i still need to do the lighter parts and we'll see what we can see there uh definitely one of the best quality images uh of the moon ever released at least in my opinion uh look nasa can orbit the moon and everything and send out their nifty gadgets into orbit but this just beats it period <laughs> i i've I'm, I'm really into this just just believe me this is one of the best one but as you can see you can see those lines like going in there and you got this little cave here and you got this um small overhang type like little roof uh, so is this actually going underground if you didn't know yet you should google um i'll put it down in the description why not uh, it's an easy thing for me got everything here set up and organized now nah, well could could do a better job in the organization but uh, there's sinkholes on the moon which is interesting because you see this hole like uh, like like there's another layer underneath the the above layer or on the moon which is which is crazy it's it's why would they even form a sinkhole and how would it form it just sparkles the imagination um there will be so much more even about this aristarchus if you know this or not i've made a massive massive thing here about aristarchus so many different sources and everything but there's something definitely here uh, that has spontaneously disappeared which is quite strange when you consider that this, i consider this one of the best and highest quality images uh, of the moon 
I've ever seen and yet yet you can't see something very interesting it's pretty huge um, so there will be more videos about this image that's that's for sure it's pretty cool the main reason let's go to the next one because I'm talking too much I'm trying to uh, you know keep this as short as possible like I said there will be an extended version because there's a lot of things going on there um, let's check this out you know it's kind of tough because you're trying to cater to two different people at two different uh, groups I'm really trying to break my mind on this one um, okay, let's go into this and you might not see a darn thing. Okay, cool. So that's why you're watching my video. At least I hope that's the reason. Um, let's check this out. I've been really working uh, with this one. And what you can see is, I'll zoom in just a bit, just a bit more. Um, you can see that there's just slightly a bit like a change in the lighting right here. And I'll flip it around in just a moment. And as you can see, what this actually resembles is like a cross type shape not sure if i should put that in the title looks like a plus to me like a very symmetrical plus sign but uh well theoretically it's still like a cross a plus should be a cross but okay whatever we'll see um it's definitely uh nothing to do with religion or anything it's, it's just a really interesting anomaly um so i've checked this out before not not having prepared it properly you can see that this is the original one just switch back to the original one you can see it's actually and that might just be a little bit more clear uh for you we, we were all different kinds of people and as you can see it's it's mind-boggling to have this kind of uh this cross here right here in the middle and uh very interesting feature as well i think that there's a rock here behind it so i can't necessarily say that there's actually literally like a religious cross there um no it's it's most probably isn't but this one it it kind of reminds me like a uh, like an like an artificial beam like it was part of a construction not saying it is but i do assume it at the moment because when you look at this this is quite interesting so why not flip it around i will flip it around in a moment in a, in a moment just hold on here and um, you know it, i'm sorry but it's tough to make a video within 10 minutes it's like nearly impossible maybe i shouldn't listen to those people maybe i should i will give it a try i guess let me know uh, in the comment section what you think if you like the longer videos if you like the shorter videos because as you can see i'm like speeding up my english like uh, mac 5 here it's 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 next to impossible see so you made a mistake right there uh, i gotta do like 50 things at the same time while we're recording so uh and i'm using a lot of hotkeys because else it's just impossible so let's take a look here um let's go here let's go to this layer see so you kind of can't forget those things we will make too much mistakes um what you see here is actually you wouldn't notice you might think okay you probably would ignore this if you would check out this image is there's this pretty darn symmetrical hole here and when you look at this crater here okay okay so we got kind of a point of reference where you could check out the angles and everything uh what this actually it's kind of strange because it seems like it's a crater standing up from the ground like it's literally eyeballing you in the in the camera or sh i should say telescope sorry because it's an observatory um yeah i mean it's it's kind of out of place now i went uh i went to take a closer look on this one and like i said in the extended version we'll probably uncover something more like um have more details in the middle but uh, at the moment i could uh probably just draw out a circle should i do this right now or not because i've been messing around uh let's do that in the extended version see that's those are those kinds of things i'm struggling with i'm making shorter videos but you know i wanted to try it let's see um <clears throat> so probably 15 minutes anyways so um, what you can see, so as you can see here, I flipped it around, and this one was the main, 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 main original. Let me see, try to name it around here. Okay, so this is a di direct copy from the original one. As you can see, we got this uh, kind of cross pillar-like shape thing right here. And then we got this thing here. Um, so now you can see, it's kind of weird. It's like definitely a vertically standing up crater or cave. I don't know. So when I took a closer look at this, is um, there's definitely like a shape or pattern going on here as you can see there's there's definitely some pixels here that indicate that the debris is aligned in this way um, as you can see it's starting to become weirder and weirder and so you know I, I took my time on this just just to confirm you know just to check the pixels again just check out the uh, different variations um, check out if if it's just me no this is actually in there and it's it's, it's you know, I love this image. Can't, I can't word it properly even. Um, and, and then you got this kind of, I don't know, like 
slaps plates like going to the back it's it's one of the most bizarre things i've ever seen on the moon it's definitely uh classified as one of my uh, top 10 anomalies right here it's it's just weird and definitely like the source i really like uh, to to work on an uh, image from an observatory a lot of people asking what about the observer but observatories this and that well you gotta take in, into consideration uh, in the, into consideration is that all these observatories and telescopes you name it are privately owned like 99.99 percent so um it's like a it's let's imagine you would buy an observatory you would let it be constructed that means it's yours you don't necessarily have to share anything you have no obligation to the government whatsoever nothing um, and if you want to like turn around and adjust the whole telescope the observatory uh, because usually it's meant for deep space if you want then to adjust it to to the moon then that will cost you easily 80,000 euros just to adjust everything set it up properly just turning that thing around it's it's pretty crazy and it all depends on the situation the observatory you name maybe you're listening maybe you're working yourself at an observatory let me know how that's like you name it and uh, what the costs are and maybe you can confirm it for me but it all depends on what observatory so okay so that was pretty interesting as you saw i drawn it out for you i will give you another look at this anomaly which is pretty insane i mean i, I really do uh like i said i'm i'm pretty interested in this um so okay so i'll put um i think i uh, know i know hold on uh let me move this just a bit here maybe you want to pause the video and use your magnifier as uh, some of the enthusiasts on my channel do uh, you may check it out here in different variation the enhanced version will be on google plus so don't worry but like i said do keep in mind that it was really focused on the darker areas and um which one are we looking at right now this one yeah i was looking at this as well there's some interesting debris here but that's all still looking at you know not sure whatever I have to confirm it you name it and uh, hope you enjoyed this video because that's it and uh, see you in the extended version i will first throw out um another video about a different subject then probably i don't know like a sunday special maybe this extended version about this image so hope you like this video subscribe like share whatever you can i really am grateful for that and definitely do leave a comment uh, that's the whole way uh, you know you know the, the, the part that i enjoy it's really awesome to read your your own opinions your, your things your findings you name it i really love it um uh, thank you so much for the support it's still unbelievable um how many people do support me and how you just you know come back after like not uploading for a month or something you know and i really really still would like to apologize for that because i always feel guilty about it but i'm, I'm a really busy guy i it's it's tough and i'm still struggling but i'm making changes to my uh, personal life as well so uh you know i'm really i'm doing my best i'm trying to do more more of what i like and this is definitely one of those things uh so again thank you so much for the support see you in the next video um i don't know if i'll make it tomorrow because i got uh, some plans going on there tomorrow but uh, i'll do my best definitely to throw out that other video i want to do about the polo 17 landing site and everything I want to really check that one out um i think it has never been checked out the way i have checked it out and it's completely unique yeah, well, like all my content on this channel um, i struggle solo i don't grab stuff from the internet it's like if you've seen anomaly on my channel and on the channel as well well that's just coincidence while well, we're both both basically watching the same thing so <laughs> so thank you so much I hope you thank you for your understanding and see you soon